not uncommon to run into aphid issues while gardening in Wyoming. Here behind me, we've had some major aphid issues. The aphids have come in, really damaged some plants, and now they've left. And what we are left with as gardeners is plants that are really not doing well at all. So there's many ways we can take care of these aphids. First, we wanna make sure that we have some really healthy plants so that if we do come into contact with some bad insects or some other diseases, they can fend off those diseases or insects. Some of our natural predators, such as ladybug beetles and their larvae, are great for controlling aphids. But if that's not enough, you may have to consider other options. Some of these options include neem oil, horticultural oils, or even just types of different soap mixed with water. When mixing this, we want to do one teaspoon of soap for one quart of water. When making an application with neem oil or soaps, we want to actually spray the area where those aphids are at. The other option that we have is diatomaceous earth. With this product, we basically want to sprinkle it where those insects will be crawling along. This product is abrasive to their exoskeleton and will ultimately kill the, the aphids. Aphids can occur on most all of our vegetable plants that we have in the garden. When dealing with aphids, we want to make sure that we're controlling them as fast as possible. They reproduce every seven to 10 days and they can really take over a garden before you know what's happened. From the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Brian Sebade, and you're watching From the Ground Up.